Welcome back to your one-stop shop for horror. Have any of you ever been stalked before? Kind of like me right now being stalked by my cat. <laughs> I actually have. Quick story time. It's a little bit weird, but about 10 years ago, I remember this middle-aged woman following me on the freeway. Uh, the random detours I would take, she would follow me. Even into the McDonald's drive through she followed me. Back to my place, she followed me. And then I get this random phone call from an unknown number and all I heard was loud breathing on the other end. I never seen this lady before. I never seen her again after that scenario. And it was just a really weird little situation that happened for like an hour straight. Could have been a demon, could have been a stalker, could have been a stalker demon. Either way, we have a stalker on our hands. That's right, we're playing this game called The Stalked. But what is this game even about? Eh. You play as Kate, who has recently broken up with her obsessive boyfriend, Liam. However, Liam isn't willing to let her go so easily. After numerous struggles, Kate manages to escape and calls a grandpa for help. Fortunately, he offers her refuge in his mansion. You might think that's the end of the story, but it's only the beginning. Strange and creepy occurrences unfold around the mansion, making Kate question if Liam has found her, or if there's someone else involved. What do these mysterious letters mean? And will she ever find peace? Sounds pretty creepy to me. Let's do this. I had to break up with Liam and I hope he takes it well. Clearly he doesn't. We know that already. All right, we're jumping right in. Ooh, okay, the game looks wonderful. Yo, this is a really nice house. Okay, I need to make some food. I'm hungry. I was about to say, bro, you got a, uh, what kind of gremlin demon is that? All right, we got to make some food. We're hungry. Let's do this. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, preheating, uh, you know, not preheating. It's a gas stove. Sorry. Now we need some food. All right, there we go. What is that? Some, some ravioli? Who would be knocking on my door at this hour? Do we go check? Because I'm really not trying to, bro. I got stuff. Wait, let me shut the fridge. Hang on. My mama taught me well. Because if you know, she was here and she's seen that, she would have slapped me against my head. You? Who's there? Oh, that's me. Okay, I got it. Who's there? Wait, should I do this in like a girl voice since I'm playing as Kate? What's Liam's voice sound like? Hey, honey. Can I come in? Ugh, Liam, I told you it's over. So no, you can't come in. Come on, you can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You will be mine again soon, Kate. Yo, why'd I add Kate to the end, bro? Like I'm actually low key channeling my inner creep. Sounds like he walked away. Thank God. All right. Food should be ready now. All right. We had to get our yums up. A bath to calm myself down a bit would be great right now. All right. Time for a bath. Let's go. Yo, this place is really, really nice, bro. I'm not going to lie. Nah, I feel like the, the bath would be around here. Nope. Never mind. I lied. Oh, here we go. What? A bath. What was that? Um. See, you got way too many windows around here, man, for all of this. Give me another chance, please. I will treat you. Did y'all just hear that door open up? I will treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. Liam. No, no, no. I gotta leave before he does something worse. Yeah, you better get this gun. You got a gun under the pillow or what? You need some protection. You got this. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, this is a nice car. What's this BMW X, X6 or something? I, 
Okay, calling grandpa. Bro, I didn't expect him just to, hey, and it run after me like that. Hello, grandpa. Hey, I need your help. Hey, Kate, what's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before he could do something, but I'm terrified he will find me. Okay. I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while. Yes. You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be out on the business trip for one week. That's fine. It's still going to be safer than staying here. Can I go there right now? Yes. I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked. And if you need to go outside, you can always check the peephole first. I don't like that, bro. Okay, thanks again, Grandpa. You are a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well and don't hesitate to call me again. First of all, if I was Grandpa, I would have been like, where are you at? Okay, stay safe. I'm pulling up. That simple, bro. Problem solved. Okay. Oh my God! It's 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 this dude from Facebook, bro. Or it's it's what's his name? Mark Zuckerberg or something? Dip dip. Oh my God! That was a close call. Thank God I made it out. Liam won't be able to find me anymore now. But now we're in a mansion. So, hmm. I have finally broken free from that toxic relationship. Yo, you know what's so crazy, bro? Is that people really go through this stuff, man. Male and female. Like, it's, this is like, this is a real thing. It's crazy, man. Yo, your car goes really fast. What? What are, what are you, what are you, Vin Diesel? All right. Let me, let me focus up. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Oh no. Did Liam manage to follow me here? I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. Yeah, that's that's the same van that we just seen when you pulled off like that. Press F to turn on your flashlight. Oh, we need that. Yeah, this is a nice little car. What is this? Midnight Club Dove Edition? Grandpa said the key was in a flower pot, right? Got it. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. All right. Find the bedroom. How about we find a light switch first, bro? There we go. There we go. What is this? Okay. Uh, find the bedroom. Okay, first of all, can we find some more lights, please? There we go. Yo, Grandpa got a nice spot. A little dated, but nice. Can we like... Okay, that's locked. This is open. Turn that bathroom light on right there. Got to make sure everything is cool here, you know? Extra roll of toilet paper for my big old booty. Okay. Okay, this, this spot isn't creepy at all. Yep, this is definitely not creepy. We're going to go ahead and keep that light on, but shut that door. This is like the dining room. There's no way this is the kitchen. Bro, Grandpa left me no food. He really trying to see me starve. He couldn't get some Instacart, bro. Uber Eats, something. Can I lock the door? It's locked. Oh my God, I'm bro, I locked it. Let's go. Yo, what if he would have came in, though, when I was in... Okay, let me stop being paranoid. Okay, that, that creak and that, that step was a little too realistic. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this is like an office area, library. All right. You know what's crazy is the fact that I'm doing all this exploration just for me to forget it in the moment I need it most. Here's the bedroom, but like, is this my bedroom though? No. Cause I'm really not trying to be here. Nope, this is where I'm staying. I didn't shut the door, bro. I'm dead. Okay, we made it. 355. Wow, I slept that long? That's what I'm saying. What are you, unemployed? Speaking from experience, you know? 
Is Grandpa home already? Check the door. Check the people. No one's there. Dearest new resident of this mansion, I'm the previous owner of this mansion and you are the person I have been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we will get along just fine. I'll be watching you. All right, bro. So uh, watching me, this is strange to say the least. You're telling me I need to get going to the store before it gets dark, though. Let's be careful. Yeah, we need some food. This is a really nice area, though. Hang on. Shut the door. And then lock it. I really like this area. You know what's crazy? Like the older I get, the more and more I crave to be in an area like this. Maybe it's just like my, my Indiana roots coming out or something, but okay. Convenience store. Nice. Okay. What's that? Some kind of paper? Okay. Looks like, okay. Wow. It's creepy how similar she looks to me. That's what I'm saying. And it looks like it says missing person. Yo, that's me. This is horrible. I hope they found her. Okay, what does it say? Ashley missing since November 15th. November. August 15th, 2013. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistance could make all the difference. I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Okay, we got a shopping list. Here we go. Hey, what's good? I'm just here to... It's my favorite song. You playing this just for me? That's so nice of you. Listen, I know we just met and I never seen your face before, but I have a crazy obsessive ex-boyfriend who's after me and wants to kill me. Maybe. Maybe you can protect me. Oh, hi there. I haven't seen you here before. Wait, hang on. We got to do the stranger justice in the middle of nowhere. Oh, hi there. I haven't seen you here before. Are you new? Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone? Um, I'm in a hurry. Sorry, I got to go. Yo, Kate, you need protection, boo. You ain't got a gun at the house. You got to do what you got to do. Play nice. Play nice. Got to give a little to get a little. All right. Well, I guess we're I guess we're going to go. Listen, she don't she don't know what she's talking about. Okay. <laughs> hey there. Um, so listen, I just moved in down the street and I'm a little hang on. Making sure he's not the crazy one here. I'm getting out of a pretty toxic relationship and I really need protection. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm you gotta let me get the sillies out right now, bro. Let me get the sillies out right now. So that way we could. I was talking to the criminal. I was talking to the stalker. I was talking to the weirdo the whole time. That's the guy, bro. That's not my ex, but that's the guy that was like at, at the when I pulled out from the house. Bro, he's going to put a tracker on my car or something. I'm not going to steal. I promise. I'm watching you. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting stalked so hard. I'm turning into the stalker. Okay. We got to we got to finish up this shopping, y'all. Yo, the price is kind of good. Yo, this inflation is crazy, y'all. Are y'all paying attention to what's going on? Yo, gas is like $5 a gallon, bro. I want to cry. That's all. Let's go pay for this now. Sounds good. Uh, uh, hello. Is that all? Yes. All right. The total is twenty-two fifty. Thank you for shopping here. Oh, wait. Thank you for shopping here. Also, I could tell you are new to the area. How long are you staying for? No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. All right. Have a good day. And here are your groceries. Yo, this dude is still here, bro. Was this car here too? Yeah. <laughs>
You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out here all alone like this. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best they remain unspoken. Be careful and don't let me catch you all alone again. Yo, is Kate like the baddest on the planet? I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. Yo, can you buy a gun? Some mace? Something. Booby trap the crib? Invite Macaulay Calkin over? Something? Let's not forget the groceries in the car. Okay. Hey, you were at the, the convenience store for a long time. All right. Shut that up. And lock it up, baby. Let's go. Okay. Nice. Yo, pop open the wine. This will hop in the bathtub. Maybe let's try to survive the night. It's making my neck itch. Welcome home. Oh my God, bro. Who's texting me? The lights. You looked beautiful in the store today. Oh my God, bro. I feel like they want us to think it's the obvious guy in the car or in the van, but it's probably the convenience worker. Um, can't wait to see you again. <sighs> Getting closer, bro. Is he inside or outside? I'm soon there. Bro. Or what if I'm already there? Bro, stop playing with me, man. Bro, it is pitch black. What do you want me to do? Grab the chips. I'm here. Check the door? Why would I do that, bro? And what am I doing? My, my true color showing, y'all. No one's there. I'm not opening the door either. I don't care. Oh, it's outside. Bro, it says check the... I have to open this? Oh, my God. Dearest new resident, congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. All right, man. Well, um, this is getting out of hand. Um, I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. No, not now. Start. Start. Please start. Come on. Why now of all times? Something's really wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops like now. Yo, put the phone away. Go, girl, go. Call the cops. Actually, shoot. Flashlight on. <clears throat> 911 dispatcher, what's your emergency? Hi, I... I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at... It's urgent. I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right now. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help is on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. 
and make sure to lock your doors. The officer should be there soon. Yes, they're locked. Please hurry. Help is on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Yo, that's fire, bro. I get to be on the I get to be on the phone with the cops the entire time. Or with the dispatcher. You get the point, bro. He ain't gonna be able to save me though. I'm scared. Someone just tried to open the door. That's what I thought I heard, too. Officers will be there any second now. Yo, the dispatcher's about to switch up and be like, Hey there, Cindy, or something stupid. Yo, I would just stay like this the entire time until they pull up. I see the lights. It appears that everything is under control now. Our officers apprehended a man in white in a white van outside your residence. We're bringing him in for questioning. If he's, if something is him, this him, if something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. That's a decoy, bro. That's a decoy. This reminds me of that one movie. I think it had like Jennifer Lopez in it or something like that, where she had like a crazy husband. If you know, you know, it, I'm getting like hints of that. It's just really domestic violence. Phew, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things can get back to normal now. It should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. Find the electric panel. Yeah, well, we're gonna go ahead and lock this up. I'm assuming it's over here because there is a door over here. And it's probably around back. Here we go. That's actually crazy. It's already opened. Wow. All right. Whoever it is, I'm going to put him in this furnace real quick. Letting you know right now, bro. I'm the killer. Please don't push me. Hello? All right, you got me. Good scare. Good scare. Good scares. The power should be back on now. All right. You got me. You got me. Good scares. Take this flashlight, though. Something's going to happen when I hop out of here. Can I shut this? I can't. The front door is locked too, so we'll go on this way. Make sure we lock it. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Uh, how about we turn the lights on first and not be stupid? Okay, there's that. There's that. Uh... There's that. Wait. Nah, it's on. Okay. Water sound peaceful. Oh no. Finally, a moment of peace. Freddy Krueger hand pop up. <laughs> but why would that stranger go so far for me? Whatever, it's over now. You must got that good good or something. I don't know. You must have a certain pheromone. Some Bro, somebody just took a picture of me. I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things now. Let's just go to bed. Yo, you heard somebody taking a picture of you. You about to be all over Reddit now. Go to bed. You didn't hear things, I'll tell you that. Nah, keep it open. Oh my god, bro. Why do I play scary games? I heard somebody in here, bro. I'm not gonna check behind the door, though. Wait, this is not even my bedroom. Oh my god, I have to go in here. We're good. Uh.
your milkshake really brought all the boys to the yard for real. What is that noise? Clearly it's somebody knocking, making a beat. Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. Investigate the noise. Where's the storage room at? Yo, it looks like something behind this wall. Did I see somebody peeking? I think I peed on myself. Nah, nah, I didn't. I got about probably five more years though before that starts happening. <sighs> I should probably call to check how Liam is doing. I mean, the reason all this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I had just stayed with Liam, he would have kept me safe. See, now you got what we call Stockholm Syndrome. You're being gaslit, manipulated. Call Liam, yes or no. But hang on. Now, if we call Liam, maybe. Nah, that's a bad idea, bro. Because I'm thinking part of me is like, maybe it'll like calm him down, kind of like soften him up a little bit to kind of alleviate everything going on. But if we don't call Liam, then we run the risk of him doing something crazy. Because clearly there's some things going on. But what do we want to do? Obviously, calling Liam is a bad idea, right? Long term. But short term, like I said, it might alleviate things for now. But also, this is all inevitable. Nah, I'm not going to call him because he's going to kill me. I'd rather go out like a real one on my own. No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is empty. I still don't feel safe. Dang, bro, now I wonder what it would have been like if I would have called him. I'm such a strong woman. Now nah, we gotta we gotta we gotta stand ten toes down, you know what I mean? We can't just give in. Liam ain't gonna protect us. Liam is gonna be the one to kill us later on in life, bro. We're gonna end up in a crime documentary on YouTube with five million views. This is where he came out of, though. Something looks off about that book. Oh, that's crazy, bro. I called it upstairs. I said, this looks a little weird. But not this one, but the one upstairs. Don't tell me Liam is responsible for Ashley's whereabouts, bro. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15th, 2013 by her husband, two days after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in their residence, Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions with their husband emerging as a prime person of interest in their ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley, where she was last seen. That's my grandpa's house, bro. Look, honey, we made the news. Pretty cool, right? August 15th, she was reported missing, but then we have August 17th. Yo, this dude is a sociopath, bro. Oh my God. Why would you want to leave me? I have done nothing but be good to you. Whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again now. August 17th. It's Ashley's skull and probably her ring, bro. Or like, yeah, her, her ring. It's locked. Ashley's down there, bro. Her remains are down there. It's Liam, y'all. Liam is now out to get me, his next victim. Oh my God, bro. This stuff is intense, man. It's pretty heavy. Cause this stuff is actually like really happens, bro. Now what though? Okay, so one day later, I can't replace you, Ashley. There is no one that is as special as you. The same day, why did you force me to do this? 
I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. All right, so that's August 19th. Okay, so three days later. What the f did I do? How am I going to live on without you? All right. So that's that's three days after. So obviously something happened. What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Oh, wow. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? Bro, look at the timestamp, y'all. Look at the dates, bro. She is just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will, no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. I... It's probably about time I talk to Grandpa about what's going on here. This is crazy. Bro. I'm immersed. This is great, but like really terrible at the same time. Grandpa, are you there? Yes. Has something happened? A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and been followed by someone I don't think is Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. Yo, Grandpa, I'm gonna need you to pull up, bro. And, and tell me about all this little thing going on in the storage and stuff. You don't even know about this. But when I thought it was all over, I found the strange hidden room in your house that contained some psychotic things, to say the least. What? This is insane. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters? In the hidden room? I've lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. You shouldn't have been there to begin with, bro. Blood is thicker than water, Gramps. You old fart. I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you bought this place from? Oh my god. That could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his home was... Oh. Or his name was, or something like that. Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery and I didn't have the time to bring my charger with me. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. Yep. That's, yep. We seen that one in the basement. Let's go. Might not be that easy though to get there. But we're going to do our bestest. Part of me like regrets locking the doors, but like... I don't know. There we go. Perfect. I don't <laughs> see I'm gonna get a concussion one day, bro, from one of these jump scares. I'm telling you that right now. Y'all just gonna laugh about it. Do nothing to help me. At least hit that like button. You still haven't done it yet? Come on, man. I should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. All right. Find a weapon. You burped in, in the name of Jesus, bro. Was, what? His office. Oh, here we go. Right here in the drawer. I knew it. Oh. Hang on. There's a letter right there. Nope. There's nothing of use in here. Okay, so now what? That has to be grandpa, right? Like he really, bro, what do you, what do you think he is a magician? You think he gonna be home? 
that quickly took the world's quickest uber like no, no! oh my god hi sorry if i scared you bro i'm st i just had to come clean about something of course you did you are the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store what do you want to come clean about I know it was creepy, but if it... <sighs> I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back to feel safe again. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you leave now, please? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. Yo, I kind of believe him, bro. I kind of believe the guy. That's probably why I'm going to die. It's dark already? No flashlight till we really need it. Now what? Really? It's not. That's what I'm saying. Go to bed. Once again. Oh. No. Okay. The lights are on. Okay. Yeah. 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 Did. Did. Did that come from the bedroom door? <sighs> Go to bed. Y'all ready for this, man? Dun, 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 dun. I'm still waiting for that jump scare. It's gonna happen. You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work. Your phone is dead. The police think they got the person behind this, and you don't know where I am. There is nothing that can stop me anymore. Bro, I want to be an anime villain so bad. What, what do I do? I know. If I follow down the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I could find some neighbors that can help me. Follow the other path. I'm just going right into like why she's clearly not the smartest tool in the sh in the shed, bro. Why am I going after? Lord God, protect this house. I cast out any demons. I itches. Follow other path. That's the path that one dude turned down though. Come on, bro. This one right here. I'm scared, bro. Oh, my butt cheeks are so tight right now. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking over there. I'm not looking. Nope. Oh, my God, bro. What is this? A uh, base? Come on, man. This is definitely Liam's car. He got the same whip as me, too. Just blue. All right, let's get this over with, man. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. Underground tunnel, man. I got your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria. If you know, you know, but that's how the song starts, bro. With a little cough like that. Blood? Where? Oh. That, that's Liam. What happened to you? Why would someone do this to you? This is Liam? She is mine. That's the picture we heard get take, bro. And she's just like, oh, it's just, I'm so sleepy. You do know. Bro, clearly I heard the, the, the little phone capture snapshot sound. Liam got killed, bro. Who's, who's after me, bro? The, the murderous Winnie the Pooh? Like. Who is it then, y'all? That leaves like the convenience worker. There's a ladder right here. This this is in the house. 
Oh my god, y'all. Behind me. I think these are Ash's remains. What a sick and twisted individual her husband is. I don't even want to know what he would do to me. Did that just open? Okay, do I need to grab something here? She got any jewelry on I could I could sell? No. It's you, bro. I knew it was you. Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now. My new Ashley. So I it was you who has been sending me the letters? I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but that doesn't mean I could replace her. I don't care. How you look is more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting for so long for this. No, no! I have to run before it's too late. Oh, shoot! I ran the wrong way, bro. It, it confused me. I got God. Yes, I want to try again. I'm built different. I don't know which way to run. Oh. Yo. Hey, the cops were pulled up. We got him, y'all. The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. Shout out, Grandpa. I died twice, but shout out, G. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. Okay. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. So the guy I talked to at first is actually a good dude. I should have really gave him my numbers and let him let him hit. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife, Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. Hey, honestly, bro. Yo, solo developer. Corvin Ruler, yo, congratulations, man. Well, thank you for creating a W game. So I just want to take a genuine moment to say that if you find yourself or anyone else around you in your circle or whatever the case is in a situation like this, please encourage them to get help because this stuff is very, very real. And despite the jokes and the gameplay, um, I mean that, man. So y'all be safe out there. Tell me what you guys think down below. Before you go, please click on one of these videos right here that pop up any second. I'll check you out over there. And in the meantime, don't go to the convenience stores by yourself like Kate did. Bring me with you. I got y'all back. Just make sure you buy me some candy. Anything. I'm open to it all.